Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Watch You Wearing. Today we have the extreme pleasure at looking at some very special timepieces from the independent brand Anderson Genev. So what do you know about Anderson Genev? So I first came across Anderson Genev when I was looking for a world time watch. And I was looking for this famous world time complication created by Louis Cotier. And at that time, there weren't many brands that offered this. So there were Patek Philippe and one of the other ones was Anderson Genev. And that's how I discovered the brand. How about you? Similar, similar story, actually. I was looking at dressier pieces mm. when I was reading the history of how the uh, AHCI was created. You know, it turns out Sven Anderson is the, uh, the founder. Yeah. So, yeah, that just kind of the whole thing, the whole story tied in very well. And then I started looking into the uh, history of the brand where you know, he started his brand 40 years ago, focusing on different complications, you know, coming up with a secular calendar. Um, and, and all these like really crazy unique timepieces. So I think mm. it's a very very special brand we have here today, and it's, it's worth our attention. Yes, and it's very rare that we get how many pieces here today. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of AG goodness. Yes. Yes. Why don't we um, start with some of the alternate time display ones? Sure. What we have here is the Montre Tac. Yes. This is quite nice. I, I really like how time display. You have it on the side of the case made very recently popular as well by the Mad One. Uh, but I would actually say it's very likely that Max Busser was inspired by this. Probably. And I think yeah. he has one as well. So the Montre Tac was invented by uh, Breguet as a way to display watch without um, having to look at your pocket watch because that might seem like a rude thing to do. Other watchmakers have similar ideas like F.P. John with his um, slightly off-centered dial yeah. that it can just peek out peek of out the cuff, yeah. sleeve. Yeah. But here, Ben has an even more um, crazy idea by putting it between the lugs. Yeah. You can hardly see it unless you're really looking for it. So yeah, that's very cool. They're also able to allow you to do customizations on, on the watches. So we have here is this miniature painting on the, on the, on the case. And as a collector, right, the more you collect, it's clear that you then veer into more unique things, you know, yes. rarer things, and more this, personal things. So in this series, every piece is uh, unique, right? If I'm you, not You mistaken. can, yeah, you can. So yeah. Wow, well, just look at the details of the painting. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. Most people can't even paint that on a real scale. I definitely can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so the next series is the uh, the Jump Hour. Uh, I think this was released 2020, celebrating 40 years of the brand. The brand was started in 1980. So they came out with this Jump Hour um, with this very, very nice blue gold guilloche dial. I've never seen uh, a nicer guilloche. It's, it's insane. This guilloche is just out of the world. Yeah, it's made, uh, it's made with this uh, special gold alloy. Mm. And I believe it's heated with very special treatment to mm. make this specific blue hue. And it's not that easy to make. What ends up happening is that the dial color is slightly different in every piece. The fact that it has so many like such a such a big surface area, yeah, gives you a lot of creative room. I would say, for sure. Yeah, to to really make the dial stands out. Yeah. Very cool. And obviously now to the bread and butter. I think I would say for me the standout complication um, for Anderson Genève, what they're very well known for is, is their world timer. And here we have the massive pleasure of having six very special uh, different versions of, of this timepiece. So we have. The Asprey version here, as you can see, this one has slightly different lugs. I think it's very nice. It is actually a bit thinner thanks to the lack of a Hunter case back. Mm -hmm. The lugs are very unique, gives it a little bit of vintage feel. And then the fact that it has this little hidden crown oh, that that's most so people cool. just, just miss. And this hidden crown is, um, is done by hammering, hand hammering. Oh, this is probably my favorite. This is insane. Look at that adventuring dial. That enamel, compared to the, let's say, normal uh, normal version, this one is certainly a bit more suitable for Asian wrist size, being mm. a little bit smaller in diameter. Yeah. And with uh, less angular, um, a scallop lux, and without the hunter case back, makes it a very wearable piece. Super wearable, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is my favorite as well. <laughs> <laughs> 
Might not be a coincidence, uh, Benjamin Chi is also Asian. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> he has got good taste indeed. Very good taste, yeah. One of the difference between this and the normal one, it has a 3 o'clock and a 9 o'clock hidden crown mm. instead of the two crowns aside. Yeah. So on these ones, you have the, the crowns at 2 and 4. One thing I really like about the, this brand is that they're not only do they care about the, the case design, the dial design, but also their their attention to detail with regards to the font. I think mm. not a lot of brands actually pay attention to that. So it's clear that this font has been chosen specifically mm. to kind of invoke some older vintage vibes. But at the same time, I would still say it still looks quite you know, contemporary as well. It is. Yeah. Things like the hands, where the hands are constructed differently than in the shape of an of A, and it's not loud. Should we talk about the two different guilloche method that's often uh, yeah. mixed up? Yes. So we have here. This is, a, I believe, a traditional guilloche method, mm. and this would be tapestry method. Mm. And uh, as you can see, the, the patterns here are slightly different. For me, I actually quite like this uh, the, the tapestry one. one. Yeah, I mean mm. it's. Looking at it, and it's almost like you're looking into a. It's more natural, like I looking say. into the ocean. But for me, my preference would be the guilloche. I'm more of a traditionalist, I, would, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> to contrast the shininess of the tapestry and the and the guilloche, they yes. have made the hands brushed yeah. to contrast the the finishing. And it's clear that they've just put put so much thought into every little detail from the hands, the guilloche, uh, the dial design, the proportions, mm. the typography, the case, the lugs, and everything. I would say one of the best war timers you can buy in the market right now. Exactly. Obviously we've clearly uh, picked a favorite, the the Benjamin Shi one, but uh, besides from that, if you were to take one home from here, which one would you pick? Mm. Apart from the Benjamin Shi one, I would probably pick the jump hour. The jump hour. Yes. It's that guilloche. Yes. Because uh, it's a very wearable case size. What I like about this one is that the dial is like sometimes in certain light, it kind of sh shines, mm. shines rainbow. You know, it goes from blue to green to purple, and uh, yeah, I haven't seen that in any other watch before. Mm. What about you? What is your pick? Um, pick for tonight? No, I think personally for me, I still have to go with the roll timer, and I'd probably go with the, the Asprey one. Mm. I, I really like these, uh, these, these different lugs. Um, I like the 3-9 the th the, the double crown um, design. And uh, yeah, I mean, with, the, with the guilloche, the blue gold, you know, even now I'm looking at it and I, just can, I can just look at this dial all day. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been an absolute pleasure to show you, to talk about these watches today. Uh, it's, uh, you know, very memorable experience. I don't know if there's even a chance for us to ever see this many Anderson Genève watches in the same same spot again. It's certainly a one in a lifetime experience. Hope you guys enjoy watching this. Uh, if you want to find out more about the Horology Club, you can go to our website www.horologyclub.com, or you can also find us on Instagram at the.horology.club. <laughs>